A very good evening to you all the way from Accra, Ghana. Good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are watching us from. And you are warmly welcome to the Power Impact Series show, which is proudly brought to you by the African Season Speakers Network. My name is Ambassador Benjamin Oswanza. And uh, this show is proudly brought to you also by supporting people. And these people are Hardcore Charger, One TV, and Dead Studios. We want to say thank you so much for supporting this program all these years and then yeah where you here last week <laughs> what were your takes of last week what did you take home last week and how were you able to implement it during this week yes we're here again today and today is also going to be another wonderful session because uh i have a wonderful person in house with me here for the very first time on the power impact series and i'm sure you're going to love to listen to these guys over and over again so if you have not shared the link yet kindly do so let others also join let others also come on board to receive this wonderful wisdom nuggets that are going to be shared with us by our special guests today so you know what to do already share the link let others join the page and let us all learn together it is um, platform where we influence the next generation of Africans wherever they find themselves and wherever they are we're going to share a lot of wisdom nuggets today so you know it already gets to the chat area let me know who is online with me let me know where you are joining me from let me feel the energy in the house by just getting to the chat area let me know who is in the house with me you know before I introduce to you the guest for today's episode you know it already let me just take my first commercial break and right after the commercial break you know what we do we're going to introduce to you our guest for today so don't go anywhere stick around share the page invite somebody to also join need a spark to kickstart your innovation looking for thought and talks to get things moving wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty with the eye-opening stories of digital disruption extreme customer centricity organizational innovation and global shift our collective of speakers mcs and moderators will shift your perspective meet our speakers for booking and interviews contact us on 0246054092 or send us a mail info dot at gmail.com you can also follow us on all social media channels at AfsusNet Global, African Season Speakers Network, influencing the next generation of Africans. Influencing the next generation of Africans, and that's what we stand to do, and that is all we are doing here. So if you're welcome, I want to say thank you for joining us, depending on where you are joining us from. It's a morning, it's an afternoon, it's an evening, but it's an evening here in Accra, Ghana. 703 GMT PM, you know. So if you're joining us, we want to say thank you and welcome to the Power Impact Series show. Join us by also sharing the page. Let others also join. Yeah, let me get to you. Let me get to you. So thank you so much. The boss charger. Need a spark to kickstart your innovation? Looking for thought and talks to get things moving? Wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty? With the eye-opening stories of digital disruption, extreme customer centricity, 
organizational innovation and global shift our collective of speakers mcs and moderators will shift your perspective meet our speakers for booking and interviews contact us on 0246-054092 or send us a mail info dot at gmail.com you can also follow us on all social media channels at abscessnet global african season speakers network influencing the next generation of africans influencing the next generation of africans i hope you can hear me now thank you if you can hear me just let me know in the chat area that yes i can hear you or just give me a thumbs up that you can hear me yes let the energy flow let us flow now let's know that you are all online with me thank you so much boss charger ah he says watching live from dallas texas thank you so much boss charger thank you for joining and then uh, who else is online with me let me know if you can hear me clearly you can hear me clearly thank you so much boss charger and who else can hear me let me know if you're online let me know who is online with me today and let the vibe keep flowing all right thank you so much pss africa hearing you loud and clear from boston thank you so much pss africa thank you for my how have you been sir i hope you're doing well yes yes let's share the page let's share the link let others also join up thank you so much i can get the comments now coming in yes i cannot feel the energy in the house yes 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 we are about to roll so fasten in your seat belts and get ready for a takeoff so we are about taking off but before we do that as i said i'm going to introduce to you our guest for today <laughs> right so let's go from this way Our guest for today is a life coach. Our guest is a brand consultant. Our guest is a trans transformational and powerful content speaker for audience who want to discover themselves holistically while also discovering their innate gifts and using them to achieve financial freedom. Our guest also teaches audience how to strategically brand and sustain their personal and business identities, leverage on and offline brand marketing strategies, and expand their ideas globally. Our guest has spoken to over 100,000 people while providing a program by name. Right now, actionable steps in our guest brand development journal which consistently has an impact on our guest's audience. Our guest has written a life planner, a name, Brand You Write Daily Affirmation Manual, which is a thought-provoking journal that provides amazing clarity through guided daily actionable affirmations. You know what? Our guest is also a mental health advocate. Not only that, <laughs> our guest is a public event MC and a mentor. Not only that, our guest is also a talent and a career coach. I thought that is the end, but no. Our guest is also a personal development coach. Our guest is also a brand consultant who deals in a consultancy firm. Not only that, hmm. I guess this is also the CEO, founder of Care Consults. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so much ready to listen to this guest that we have in house today. So help me welcome for the very first time onto the power impact series no other person than akosia nana lexis obiniwa opoku ajima let's give her a round of applause yes 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 let me hear you clapping yeah 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 how are you Alexis? how are you doing i'm doing absolutely wonderful when yourself i'm doing well we're still moving right. on I mean, we are in the third month of the year 2023, and it's, it's a good year. It's going well. We are moving around. And, and one, of the, one of the things 
things we're trying to do this year is that we want to discover ourselves. That's why you are here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But how has your year been? Just three months into the so year. Far, so far, it's been good for every year. The first quarter, some many a times presents itself to people as a challenging time where you're now trying to find balance for the year. For some people, it has skyrocketed. And others, they are still yet to know whether the year has even started in the first place. But for me, I'll say I, I have a strike of a balance of what it seems like for me for the year. I have my expectations. I have my limitations. I have identified errors and strengths where I know I can actually grow, whether as a business or as an individual or whatsoever I touch on. So for me, the year has started well, although um, worldwide we are facing some economic challenges. I think that we will sail through regardless, but with persistence and our ability to think as, as humans, we'll be able to go through this phase too. And this too shall pass, like they say. <laughs> yes, so the year has been good so far. Right, the year has been good so far. This too shall pass. Is a and Alexis or Benewa or Poku. You know what? Um, <laughs> I was wondering how you were able to write all these names at the back of your book whilst you were in school. I, I found an interesting way of working with it, you know. I right. at a point the teachers themselves will actually omit some of the the names. Other times too, you have to abbreviate some and then be able to work with it. Because my surname is a compound name, I'm not I'm not able to abbreviate that. However, right. the other ones they'll go abbreviated as mm -hmm. Akosia N L O Opokuajimano, Akosia O Opokuajimano, Akosia, and like it, it, somehow somewhere I got it written some somewhere. <laughs> I had a way, yeah. I'm, I'm have happy that it's my official name, and right. for most cases, wherever I find myself, the attention is is brought to you. Right. So I don't right. regret owning all the all these names. No, I'm very happy about it. And I'm I'm sure I may add about two more to it. Maybe oh, I, yeah. don't, <laughs> I don't oh, know yeah. yet. But maybe oh, yeah, in the future I may <laughs> add an extra two names to it. So I I get like a very long name. But I'm well, happy that's about okay. it. That's, okay. that's nice. Say again. Yeah. I so said that's beautiful. I, I love it. I mean, yes. At any name, at right. any time, at, at any time, each of these names has to just show up. Yes. As you just show up. Yes. So so I like it. I like it. So let's add more to it. Let's add more to it. <laughs> I'll tell him about it. We'll add more. My father and my mother, I'll tell them. We need yeah, to add need two to more, more, even extra extra three. Let's say all <laughs> five. You never know. <laughs> where are you? Let me know. Let me know the length of your name. Let me know the length of your name. How many? How many? How many? Uh, Akosia has one, two, three, four, five, six. We plan of adding two more to make it eight. So yeah. let me know about you. I mean, let me know how many you have in your full name <laughs> structure. And let's see how much we can add or how many we can add to it. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much. So I mean, I read a lot of profile. And then uh, the boss charger is saying that, wow, I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone May says you want to, to be like you when you like grow up. When you come to part. <laughs> <laughs> all right right <laughs> boss charger just see you right okay so just a few comments here uh, the boss charger says yeah i've got seated and my seat belt has been strapped on the guest mm -hmm. is loaded i want to be like her when i grow up oh don't worry you definitely be like her thank you so much i have in here Kavana Ofosumafu. hey okay how are you doing all the way from Ghana, he says, great topic. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're just about to scratch it and then we're going to open it and then we're going to find out what is in this box that we are having in front of us today. So yeah, bring it up, bring it up. Let me know who is online with me, share the page, let people join up because we are about to, to open a box full of a lot of stuff because if her name alone is about six letter words, I'm just wondering how many items we're going to find in the box today yeah right so someone who want to ask who is akosia nan alexis openiwa i mean after reading that profile about you yes you're here you are here now we want to find out who really is akosia. i'm the conversationalist 
I converse oh, wow. for a Yes, I listen to people's challenges. As much as listening to them, I try to find solutions together as a, an accountability partner to these people. Right. And somehow, some way, we arrive at the destination of success. And so I'm the conversationalist. I'm the very simple person with my thinking and the very uh, objective personality who understands that it's okay for any and everything to happen to anybody and be able to survive it. However, people's um, strengths and weaknesses are measured within the work I do. And so wow. I pay critical attention to their weaknesses as much as um, find ways to transform some of these weaknesses into strengths. That way we can find some freedoms that would set us on to the next of identifying who really we are and why we do the things that we do. So in, in, other, in other sense, I'm just a conversationalist. I have conversations for a living. Let's have a conversation this evening. <laughs> Even people, we're going to have a conversation this evening. So join the conversation by letting us know where you're joining us from. And then you can start bringing in what you think about it. Akosia, yeah, what do you want to find out from her? She's here. You don't need to find out from any other person because she loves to converse and we want to have a conversation here. Right, straight into our topic for today. Self-discovery. Is it that is it that we are lost, or, or or what is it that we need to discover ourselves? Are we not performing to our full potential, or what is it? Are we hidden somewhere? That's why we need to discover ourselves. What is the topic all about? Self discovery. Okay. When we speak of self discovery. A lot of things come to play. Right. Self is identified as an individual sense. Right. However, for any human being to exist, you need other things around you to assist your or aid your growth. Right. And so if you're not well discovered or you don't know what and how these things or people around you can aid your growth, then how then do you exist as a human being? And right. so it's important for every human being to actually learn how to actually know who they really are. So there are a few questions that I throw on the table during conversations um, where we ask, who do you say you are? Who are you being? Being as in B-E-I-N-G, present continuous sense. So we don't stop at being self. Once you are discovered, you keep living. And so the process of you living, what are you being? Aside okay. that, we also look into the, the case of... Um, what do other people say you are and how do they say you relate or do things around them? These questions, once answered, you'll be able to determine whether you are living a fulfilled life or a failed one. And all these, identifying whether it's fulfilled or it's failed depends on you as an individual and then the things that you seek uh, to, to be or the, the things that you seek for people, other people to see in you. What am I referencing? We're looking at your worth. So in finding who you are or identifying yourself or self-discovery coming to play, you want to identify your worth because you are purchased at how much you sell yourself. That is wow. something a lot of people don't even understand. We only hear people say, if you sell yourself for a CD or a dollar, you'll be definitely bought at that amount. If you want to be right. bought at, let's say, 20, 20 pounds or even 10 euros, it's how you present yourself that you'll be bought. And so when you discover who you are, you look at your innate giftings, you look at your surroundings, look at the tools that you need, your partners that you need to be on the journey of living that intentional life that you desire. You realize that certain things are failing, there are components to why they are failing, certain things are working effectively, there are components to why they are working effectively. And so you want to channel your energy at the good ones and then find ways and means to fix the challenges that you, you find within your weaknesses. And so self-discovery is a big, a big question for everybody. It's a big space for every, every human being to explore. And I'm very disappointed a little bit within the African space where this is not a primary focus of the basic education system, wow. where right. a child should understand who they are, even with their mates in school, because we are set to understand the need for competition even at a very young age. <laughs> 
So in junior high school, in primary school, you are always itching to either be the number one or first or second in class or third in class. However, we are for, we, we are not thought the need to understand that every everybody is different. There's okay. a reason why someone is an extrovert. There's a reason why someone is an introvert. And why someone would be super loud in the classroom and why someone's pace of learning in the class may be slower. Um, right. So if we are able to inculcate that in our a basic educational system, it helps that even the, the most sharpest person in the class will be able to tag along the slowest person because they understand why they are like that. They have known who they are as individuals to know that their strengths may be other people's weaknesses. And so they need to aid those people with their strengths so they can tap onto it and then become better just as they are. And I am very sure conversations are still ongoing that eventually we can get this into the basic educational system in Africa. Wow. Precisely, I am based in Ghana, so I'll speak for the Ghanaian system where we can get this inculcated in the educational system. Wow. Even as even if we can get it in the basic school, we can consider the senior high schools and most of the times the tertiary. Because when you get the opportunity to speak with pe persons in the tertiary space, you ask your you ask such such questions and then they are lost. They don't even know who they are. They don't know where they are headed. They don't even know that their substance or their worth as yeah. individuals. And it's yeah. quite hard heartbreaking to know that someone grown of up to a certain age preparing to go into the workspace or the world or to face the world is oblivious of, of who they, they stand to be, what worth they carry, what are their strengths, their values, their core values, their freedoms, to what extent can they go? At what point do they have to put in the pause? At what point do they have to rethink the things around them or the people around them? What tools do they need? What partners do they need to be able to accomplish certain successes along their journey? And so it's a conversation for continuous talk. It never stops because once people are born, they need to discover who they are. And I am a Christian. And so during conversations of self-discovery, one of the key things that we work with is um, your ability to understand how faith translates into identifying who you are or discovering who you are. And I work with a, a, a specific quotation, which is John 4, 24. It says, God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And so if you are an individual who is not self-discovered and wants to be discovered and cannot speak the truth to self, then there's a problem. Whatever question you are asked during the period of identifying who you are, it's important for you to stay true to yourself. So if you are failing, you should be able to say, yes, I failed at that. That way you can admit your, your challenge and begin to identify solutions to be able to fix that self-discovery that you want to find in that space. And so we can keep having the conversation. If you leave me, I'll talk over and over and over and then it will be the same thing that people should begin to awaken themselves to the fact that you ought to be discovered. If you feel stuck in a certain space, you have to rethink certain things. You have to unlearn and learn new stuff to be able to uh, become that great gem or personality that you seek to, to be. Wow. You need to unlearn certain things to become that great gem that you seek to be. Wow. I, I mean, this is a whole lecture. Woo. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Man, man, hey, who is in the house with me? I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, Sally says, I agree. Yes, Sally, you have to agree. Because no, we just scratch the surface of the topic and boom, we are there. Oh, wow. I mean, let, let, let it flow now because I'm not in the house alone. Let it flow. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, okay. I wanted to ask this question, but I think I'll hold on to this question and go to this one. What are those questions that are being asked or should be asked for one to discover themselves because uh, I was coming to another thing, but hey, hey, hey let me stick, stick to this side. What are some of the questions that uh, you should ask or needs to be asked so that one needs to understand or help to discover themselves? First question to self. 
who do you say you are? Oh, okay. Biblically, what? spiritually, physically, mentally, just name it, every aspect of your life. Answer that question, Jesus. Who do you who say do you, you say are? Say you are? You are. Right. So first one, who do you say you are? <laughs> Some say you are John the Baptist. Others, uh, we don't know. But who do you say you, you are? Exactly. You call yourself what name? Yes, but who do you say you are? Others call you by some names, but who do you say you are? That's the first question. Wow. Yes. And the other question is, who do others say you are? And in an, understanding that question or getting answers to that question, you require yourself to ask people around you, friends, family, key people in your life your colleagues at work colleagues in class ask them that question okay then the so, next question would be what legacy or how do you want to be recognized what legacy do you want to leave behind if today i die if today i don't exist anymore what legacy would i have wanted people to know of me Right. And that is something that you want to keep as a key question on your shit right. or in your diary or wherever you, you are writing these things. And this aids in you understanding your worth as a person. Wow. <laughs> whoa, 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 ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining me, you are on the Power Impact Series show where today we are having a special guest here, Kuzuyanana Lexis of Biniwa Opoku Achima. And we are looking at this topic, self-discovery. And yeah, we've, we've, we've actually launched some rockets into the atmosphere, into the space ready. And then, hey, we just have some few questions here for you. So if you are now joining me, my question to you is, who are you? Who are you? And what do others say you are? You know, and then what legacy are you leaving behind? What legacy? Or what do you want people to identify with you as who you are? Wow. My, oh my. There's another one that we didn't add. Right, what do add you it. want to be respected for? Okay. What do you want to be respected for? Even if you're <laughs> an arm robber, I think some arm robbers want to be a bit respected for the fact that they are the only gang leaders that actually go for any robbery and don't get caught. So everybody okay. wants to be respected for something. So who do you want to, or how, how do you want to be respected? Wow. There's a question you want to ask yourself. <laughs> wow. So just walk to anybody and ask that person, eh? who, who do you say I am? <laughs> <laughs> who do you say I am? Or oh, how do you see me? How do you see me? Yeah, let's have let's have a conversation because you are with the conversationalist this evening. So let's have a conversation. Who do you say I am? I mean, yes, let them say all that they think they know you to be to you. Yeah. And um, and once you receive that, what next? What do you do with that? Once you get that feedback from whoever you pose so, the question to, once you've received all these feedbacks. You begin to run a Hello, is somebody here with me? Can you hear me? Is somebody hearing me? Right, 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 right. If you're just joining me, yes, 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 you are welcome <laughs> to the Power Impact Series show where today we are having with us here, ah, Akosia Nana Lexix. And we are talking or we are looking at the, this topic self-discovery we, we want to discover ourselves and then our guest has given us some powerful points some powerful points already so if you join us don't worry continue continue watching continue watching and then right after the show just go back and watch from the beginning because it's wonderful it's wonderful in here thank you so much of course you have for this wonderful nuggets you're giving us yes let me just give some shout out to those that are joining us online and what you are also saying thank you so much boss charger thank you for joining us all the way from dallas texas thank you so much thank you so much um Kwabna Fosumafo. thank you so much for joining us on, from ghana accra 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 ghana west africa Thank you, Sally, Sally, Sally Odrago, all the way from the United States of America. Thank you so much, Sally, for joining us. 
and then Dinah Sia. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Dinah from Accra, Ghana. Thank you, Paul Achu. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for joining us. And then Jose Garcia. Thank you so much for joining us. And let me just read some of the few comments um, that we have in here. I have in here. Um, I have um, Sally saying, I agree. Uh, Sally coming again and say, how do we recognize that the answers we seek are truth? So we'll put that question down. So how do we how do we recognize that the answers we are seeking for are true? Are a true reflection of ourselves? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Right. Okay. So uh, Sally wants to know. But hey, wait, you, you didn't finish your point. And then I have lost you. We didn't finish what you were Speak saying. Speak that again. Speak that we again. Didn't... I, I didn't hear that. Right. We didn't we didn't we didn't hear your final uh comments before the line. Okay, so what I was yeah. saying is that is when you begin to have the check system. Right. You know who you want to be, you have the things that people are saying you are, and then in the process of leaving that legacy, you want to begin to cross out the things that actually sink or tally. So the things that you want to be or who you say you are or who you are being compared to the things that people say you are, do they tally? Right. If they don't tally, then why? What, what is causing them not to tally? Why does someone see you or present you as a different personality other than the personality that you think you are? Mm. If there's, right. there's a right. think error, it means that there's a challenge. So you can mm. begin to see that, okay, I don't want them see, seeing me this way or what the person said was a positive thing. It was something that I think I didn't even know about myself. Let me add it onto the things that I have already acquired for me or I have identified that, okay, this is what makes me me. Right. I think my friend said I am quite reserved and I pay so much attention when they are talking. And maybe you didn't even know that that is who you were. Sure. However, someone else may have identified that for you. And so you add it to the good things in your book and then the things that you you may have recognized that were not so pleasant for you um in self-discovery or during coaching one of the things that we pay attention to answers given are not answers given by the coach they are answers given by the personality who wants to be discovered and so your answers are entirely to you you know who you are you know what you want to live behind you know the things that you want to achieve you know the errors that you've gone through. You know the strengths that you have. And so in syncing these questions that you all, uh, uh, answers of questionnaire, of the questions that you've asked and then tallying them, you can be able to determine whether you're making progress as a human being or you are not making progress. That right. way you begin to correct the things that you identify, <laughs> that you don't like, as well as the things that you liked, you begin to improve upon them. Right. Right, right, right. Ah, ah, lovely, lovely. Thank you for joining us once again. You're welcome to the Power Your Past Series show. Hi. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> right, so I pose a question to you all. <laughs> who do you say I am? I, 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 who do you say I am? Get into the chat area and let me know what you say or what you think about me. Who do you say I am? I'm putting myself on the line today. And I'm sure I'm going to put someone else on the line today too. Right. So let me get back to Sally's question that she was asking. Sally is saying that, how do you recognize that the answers you are getting, the answers you are getting after posing the questions, are the true reflection of you? Or that's the truth? Is that people are not trying to make it up? Or is it truth that you get? That's a, br a brilliant question. However, in, in a can there's an adage that says that whoever is either digging or weeding a certain farm does not know that the path they are trying to create yeah. or wherever they are putting their path is actually crooked or straight. So right. it takes someone who is behind you okay. or be before you to right. help you identify that that path is not a straight one. Right. And so right. when you see or hear the things, like I said earlier, the things that you keep hearing. So you cannot hear same things from Ama, Evelyn, Ajoa, Kwame, right. Yao. 
and tell me they are all not sinking. Right, right. You may right. hear repeated stuff from different people who have never even met. So if you, re you realize from the beginning, I said, you ask questions of family, friends, your close allies, right. your colleagues at work, your, your, your acquaintances, and sometimes even random people on the street who have experienced right. you. So you may have lived in a certain community. There's a shop that you're always buying from. That woman at that shop, you can ask her a question of that nature. Wow. What impression does she have of you? Yes. Because it takes it takes a whole nation to make an individual. Right. A society does right. not in, 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 uh, uh, exist on its own. Right. There are so many components right. to how you are able to fit into the society. And so you take feedback from every one of the people in the, in the society. And wow. that way you can tell. If someone keeps, if let's say five people out of 20 are telling you, <clears throat> you are good. And the other 15 say you are not being good. Right. I am not the one to tell you which one is positive. Okay. However, what you want to pay attention to is what are the things that presents itself to these individuals for them to think that, okay, I am good. Right. And what is making the other people, group of people, think I am not good? Sure. So you have to prove further. It doesn't end there. That's why I said it's a continuous process. Right. It doesn't cease. Self-discovery does not end the moment you are done with this asset. No, 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 no. Every other three months, every other six months, every other year, you're supposed to run the same assessment over and over and over. Because the life we're living comes with transformation. Right. And so as you right. identify the goods, you've identified the bad, you're correcting some of the things. Once you're correcting, you just still want feedback to know whether you're doing good. So you will have right. to still go back to some of these same people who we asked questions like six months ago. Say, hey, how do you see me this, this month? Or the past okay. six months, how have you seen me? Compared to the earlier years of knowing me. Right. So now, how do you see me? Right. And that, that helps you to, to rethink some of the decisions that you've had in the past, rethink some of the thoughts that you've had, the answers that you may have had from other people, and then be able to merge it. Right. By, by, by ask, actually assessing or checking the answers that people are giving you. Believe you me, I'm not the one to tell you. You would know. You would know what is going off, and you would know what is going on. <laughs> wow. 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 Well, uh, all I can just say is wow. So it means, it means you change by the day. You change by the day. So it means you need a constant uh, rediscovering yeah. of yourself. Um, obviously, as a Christian, that's why it says um, constant renewal of your mind. <laughs> so because you're changing every day, based on what you say, it means that as an individual, you are changing, you know, yeah, something is something new is happening to you by the day. That's the more reason why you need to do that constant assessment of who you are. Oh yes. wow. There's wow. this other big question that so many people don't pay attention to. But it identifies your core value as an individual. What is that one thing you're willing to take a stand for, regardless of what people think or say? Okay. Okay. It's a huge question that when you ask many they are unable to answer because we are just they, they perceive it as we just passing through life but personally if you ask me regardless of what people think or say i want to stay truthful right regardless of what people think or say i want to be that reserved individual regardless of what people think or say i don't want to be involved in drama and once you have all of these answered i am not god i am not whatever faith you believe in you realize that you are aware of your environment. Right. And so certain things are there you would not engage in. And your core value is established. Why would someone say, hey, that's my friend. Forget, once you, you tell her this thing, she will give you any good answer. This is what she will tell you. And believe you me, the moment you come into the space, you, know that you realize that that is your core value. The person will ask the question and it will be the same answer. It's not like a magic, no. It's because your core value has been established in your personality. Right. And that is one thing that everybody ought, ought, ought to focus on establishing with everybody that they encounter. Wow. 
Wow, okay, from a four to never work. That yeah. one thing that you want to be recognized for and respected for, regardless of what people think or say. What's that one thing you need to be or you want to be recognized for? Despite all others are saying. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Says, wow, very interesting topic from which Fra Chunibua Kodia. Ah, Jose Garcia says, what great conversation. Yes, I'm with a conversationalist. So what else do you expect? Yes, it would definitely be a good conversation. Okay, okay. All right. So I pose the question and then uh, Fua says, Yes, you are a superman, Benjamin Oswan. Thank you so much. So keep it coming. I'm I'm jotting them all down. I'm putting them all down. I will go and I'll go through it all and find out who really I am. All right. Thank you so much. Kola Not, all the way from the northern part of Ghana. Thank you so much. Kola, this is your question. I'll ask it. <laughs> I'm going to ask that for you. So don't worry. I'll ask it immediately. Right. So, Elion, so after getting to know this about yourself, how do you sell yourself? You're talking about how to sell yourself because how much you sell yourself is how people are going to offer mm -hmm. you based on how much you sell how much should you sell yourself or how do you do that how do you sell yourself after discovering yourself or or i mean <laughs> or is that people don't really know who they are they've not discovered themselves and then they are tagging themselves with the price how do you sell yourself <laughs> say that again right so it was asking earlier when you said that um how much you sell yourself is the equivalent that people are going to pay you for, or that's how the the price tag people are going to tag you. You be with. bought. You be bought, Zali. So I'm asking, how do you sell yourself? How do you sell yourself? Sell yourself. Yes, it's especially when when, the same when when you've not discovered when you've not discovered yourself. Yes, that is a different ball game altogether. When you don't really know who you are, you can tag yourself with any price. And when you know who you are, how do you do go ahead and sell yourself so that you can be bought at the right tag that you've placed on yourself? Brilliant. It's a, it's a very good question. How are you selling yourself as your, your everyday living? Right. Your everyday right. existence. And so when you identify all of these errors, if you identify all of these strengths, and you want to correct them. You want to see things grow. Mm -hmm. When you want to see things grow, you begin to change your lifestyle, your attitude towards them. You begin to change your mindset. And so let's say in the office space, my colleagues say that I'm a team player. I act right. as a leader. Or when there are challenges, they, I'm always giving solutions. When I find myself in a space where my colleagues are present and I want them to see that what they said, I appreciate and want to do more. I make sure I don't overstep my boundaries. However, okay. I still play the role that I already was playing, but in right. a much more aware environment. Now I know they revere me in a certain space. They revere right. that I lead them in a good, a good way. And so when they come to me, instead of perhaps earlier, if I was being so sober with them, I begin to open up more so they can talk to me as a leader. Okay. If I wasn't that contributor in a group, I wasn't that supportive in a group, once I live in the group and I'm not out yet, I'll begin to change my ways of making sure that I'm making impact. Even if it right. means a day I contribute once, a day I contribute twice or three times, it means that you're putting in effort. And so it becomes your lifestyle. Wow. That is the only way you can begin to sell yourself. Um, Self-discovery, like I'm, I said previously, right. it's an everyday living. Mm. So if you discover you keep living. It's not when you discover you, life ceases. Life does not cease after discovery. Rather, life's, life begins after discovery. It means that wow. all the things that you were, you want to be, all the things that you are admiring, all the things that you've identified with your questions, now you want to leave it the fullest. Right. Or you want to correct the errors and then leave it the fullest. Or you want right. to be better than you were already. Right. And so you will keep doubling up to make sure that people can actually buy at the price that you want. Right, yeah. Double up! Live the life that you want to live so that people can buy you at that price. So for you, for you as um, Lexus, after discovering much about yourself, 
how was the life going forward how how did you live the life that you wanted to have after discovering yourself and after having some of those questions being answered how was the path how did you navigate the path that you were looking at for yourself who really you wanted to be I know it wasn't going to be an easy thing. I mean, when everybody says that you are that introvert person and then you, you're like, are you sure? <laughs> you don't really know me. After getting all these feedbacks, how did you take over? Or how did you just continue your journey to be the real person that you want to be? After getting all these feedbacks, after getting all the feedbacks, how did you move? Because that, you, you have a story as well. And I love that story of yours. <laughs> How did you do mm -hmm. that? How did you do it? You okay, do it? so personally, um, I've been on the self-discovery journey for the last 13 years, and I'm still on it. It doesn't wow, stop wow. for me because each day... How many years? 13 learned... years. Yes. 13 years. 13 years. Wow. And out okay. of the 13 years, I'm, I'm proud to say that in my quest to finding me, um, I have aided other people to find themselves. Okay. However, when I discovered me eventually... Um, I realized what my strengths were. I realized what my weaknesses were. I worked on some of my weaknesses and built them into strengths. Right. If anybody right. who knows right. me from, let's say, when I was tw uh, 12 years or even 10 years or 15 years, will tell you I was not an outspoken person. I couldn't right. even look at you and talk for two seconds. However, right. I could listen and remember right. the button, whatever you spoke wow. about with someone. If only I was present, yes. And okay. so even though I could not speak for myself, I was a timid child. I was everything you can think about when it comes to emotions. I found a way to transform it. How am I going to make sure that my emotions would not lead the way? So when I hear someone's sad story, although I am feeling all the emotions it comes with, the person knows that I have a good e ear for these things. And I have a good inspiration for telling them that everything would be fine if only we can begin to learn to take baby steps. So people were trusting in me for solutions. Wow. If people were trusting in me for solution or trusting in me for a shoulder to cry on, who am I not to present my face? Because I cannot present my shoulder without my face. Mm -hmm. Then it means I'm a dead being. So... I would work on myself and learn to exist within people and not feel timid or shy because people needed me. As much as I needed myself, those who needed me were way more than my, myself, were way more than my family only, were way more than the people that I exist around me as maybe acquaintances or even friends. And so when I discovered most of the very key things about my life, my biggest weakness, I turned it into my strength. And today, if you put me before the crowd, a million people, I will speak or I'll deliver and walk away. Fulfilled because, yes, people listened. Fulfilled because I appeared with my smile. Fulfilled because I appeared and articulated. And these were things that people spoke about that I was good at. Because I remember as a child um, in Ghana, at exactly six o'clock, there was a sound from GTV where there was a news... <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was the news and then there was announcement and I would sit there and I would read the announcement. Wow. I would make mistakes and they would laugh at me at home, but I didn't care because I wow. was just good with hearing words. And I knew okay. I wanted to do something with words. I knew I wanted to do something with my voice. I could sing, wow. I could speak without a fault. And even when you were trying to push me down from, from not speaking, I would still present myself to speak. That's right. And today, after discovery, I have a website. That's After right. discovery, I have gone further to learn broadcast journalism. After right. that discovery, I have gone ahead. I've learned TV production and live presentation. Right. I've learned editing. I've learned mm. branding, graphic designing. Right. I'm currently studying PR because I want to work with people. I've gone ahead That's to right. do courses within coaching, counseling, psychology, because I want to work with people. And these are things I discovered and I'm just working on. It, so it tells you that it, it doesn't cease. Every day right. we learn. And once you learn and you discover the things that are good for you, you, you expand it. 
one of the interesting parts of me that I discovered that, well, it was present, but I really didn't pay so much attention to was my creativity. Ability to okay. put colors together, my ability wow. to just splash my brush and paint and I was gone. And I could sell that piece for whatever amount it was, yes. Wow. However, I didn't know that about you. unfortunately, <laughs> it did not play into my strengths so much. Later in life, now I can tell you that it, it had to be there because I needed it to coach. And okay. this becomes therapy for some of the people that I coach, where we're able to paint away our worries and our sorrows, right? Uh -huh. Although I have not explored that space of maybe going for a degree or a master's in that I am still able to inculcate it in my coaching. That's right. So everything you discover about you on the journey becomes a tool. Remember <laughs> in my previous one, I was talking about the tools, partners that you need. Yeah. You need partners. There are people that we don't dispose of humans because okay. we are not islands. There are people that may have hurt you, there are people that may have disappointed you or may have done things that you don't like. However, they have elements that may help in acquiring that tool that you need for the next big thing that you have to achieve. And so you don't dispose of these people. You don't dispose of the tools. It is only in Africa or Ghana, where I live, <laughs> where the handyman is that expensive and when you call him, he will bluff you. Elsewhere, right. Everybody is a handy person. You will learn a bit of everything because it helps complement life. That's right. So everything you discover on the way to you becoming what you want to become is a tool. You don't discard it. Even the weakest thing, even the most damaging things. It's in PR, there's something like, uh, we say, there's nothing like bad PR. Okay. I'm a liaison between a company and its publics. Whatever information we spill out is what is going to be consumed. Okay. It takes the individual who is receiving the message to deduce the message and say it meant A or B or C. As a PR executive, I don't control that. However, okay. communication is only complete when there's an understanding. So I have to make sure that my PR communication partners are with clear understanding. There's clarity. Right. If there's no clarity, then it means we are, we are having a big challenge. Right. So there are components to some of the things that you discover about you as an individual that you're supposed to outline well to fit into the things that you want to be. So personally, after discovery, you realize I'm, not, I'm now a coach. Even though I've studied broadcast journalism, it was not meant for me to sit on television right. and read news. It was preparing my voice and myself towards a bigger agenda. Sure, sure. So after discovery, I've been able to do so much. And now I call myself a conversationalist. Oh, yes, definitely. It hasn't been an easy journey, trust me. It hasn't. However, I will tell you that it has been super rewarding. Because all the things that you know about, you find out about yourself, hey, even if it took <laughs> Jesus coming back again, I'm sure... If you didn't question people, you would not find it. Ask questions. Nobody asks questions and die. If you're <laughs> confused, ask questions. Where you feel you are lost, ask questions. Where you feel that you are stuck, ask questions. There are people who are willing or have prepared themselves or availed themselves for answers. So ask them. And for me, it is by asking and opening my mind to the fact of great objectivity, being objective about everything that has brought me to the destination I am arriving at. Remember, I didn't say I have arrived. I am <laughs> arriving at because I haven't arrived yet. I'm still on that journey no, no of way. discovering truly who I am. Well, we are here with the conversationalist and the conversation is super. It's sweet. It's engaging. And I'm sure yeah. you are doing the same too. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on the Power Impact Series. And then we are here today with the conversationalist discussing the topic, 
self-discovery. And I'm sure you've 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 taken a lot of notes now. You've discovered yourself in a way because it is a journey. It is not a destination. We are still on the journey of discovering ourselves. Thank you so much for joining, and thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for all those that have sent in some comments. Yay! I'm going to be right back, and right after this break, we're going to find out about our final words from our guest, and then uh, what to do going forward. But in the meantime, I've shared the guest page website in the chat area, so get the website of our guest and go learn more about what she's doing. Stick around, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Need a spark to kickstart your innovation? Looking for thoughts and talks to get things moving? Wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty? With the eye-opening stories of digital disruption, extreme customer centricity, organizational innovation and global shift, our collective of speakers, MCs and moderators will shift your perspective. Meet our speakers. For booking and interviews, contact us on 0246-054092 or send us a mail info dot at gmail.com you can also follow us on all social media channels at AfsusNet global african season speakers network influencing the next generation of africans influencing the next generation of africans that is all we seek to achieve on the power impact series show proudly brought to you by the african season speakers network we want to take this opportunity to wish all women joining us on the platform who has been here, who has joined us on any of our episodes. A happy International Women's Day during the week. Last week was International Women's Day. And that's why we have an international woman in our studios today. And who is blowing our mind with all that she's doing and all that she's trying to achieve to do. So, well, the ladies and all the women, Keep doing what you're doing, keep being you. And we'll say, yes, we're here to support you. And we know you are here also to support us. So thank you so much with our special guest for today, Akosuyanana Lexix Opokwajima. She's taking us on a journey. And I'm loving this journey of discovering myself. I know you are doing the same too. Well, let me just take some few questions here and let's see. Okay, <laughs> let me come back to Kola. Kola says, please. Any relation with Professor Nana Jane? Her surname sounds or have some similarity. <laughs> can I can I walk away from that question? Oh yes, you can because you are the conversationalist. Okay, so, so there's a bigger as there's, there's a huge relation in there. I won't walk away <laughs> from it before I would have. So that's you are a smart one. You figured it out. Yes, there's a very I'm huge sure. relation. That's my grandmother. And oh, I'm privileged wow. that I, I am called Nana because of her. And oh, okay. for the surname, okay. you can tell. Kola, you, you are a very bad guy. I'm sure you know Nana somewhere. And then you want to let us know. Oh, thank you so much for letting us discover Nana. <laughs> thank you so much, That's Kola. a serious discovery. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Kola. All right, so Kola comes in again and says that the journey, to, the journey of self-discovery is an audacious tax and knowing yourself is a panacea to living life and not just existing it's an everyday journey that never ends thank you thank you so much kola that is exactly what nana just said she 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 blew our mind with that that she herself has not discovered herself yet it's on the journey of discovering herself she's not at the destination yet it is a lifelong journey. Thank you so much, Kola. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and Kola, you are here again. You say so. There is an African proverb that says that the person who asks for direction never get lost. Oh, yes. We will ask questions. I'm telling you, Kola. That, thank you. Thank you. That's why you asked your question and your, your question has been answered. So you are not lost. You're not lost in the Savannah region. Thank you so much, Kola. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kola. Thank you so much. Yes, you can you can just pop in your your, your questions before um, Nana Nana leaves um, the studio. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has been an interesting and intriguing and intriguing um, episode. And you know what we do always? Yes, we do have a hashtag for the day or for each episode. 
and I've seen Kola coming in with his hashtag already. Ask questions. Kola has come up with his hashtag. So if you have any hashtag in mind, you can just drop it before we also drop it. But yes, we want to drop our hashtag for today. Yes, we want to drop our hashtag for today. So that is it. Our hashtag for today's episode is straight away there. Who are you? A hashtag for today. Who are you? That's a hashtag for today's episode. Who are you? Because we give hashtags to all our episodes, and today's hashtag is who are you? So we want to take our final words from Akosu Yanana Lexix Opoku Ajuma. Our final words before we start. Okay, so I'll t- I'll tell you what. Um, for where purpose is lost, abuse becomes inevitable. Oh yeah. And for every human, it's important to find your purpose. Uh, going further, you would have spoken about failures and then our designed assignment on earth. When you right. find out what your designed assignment on earth is, you don't have to work a day in your life. You will live and work like nothing is even happening. And so remember to find the purpose of your life in the self that you discover. And then remember that the hashtag, which is keep who you are, and then also the hashtag, I'm adding one thing, um, the self-discovery dialogue. It's something oh, wow. that everybody should have with themselves. If you found information here that is was good to you, do share with a sister or a brother. You never know who you may help. The questions that we've asked ourselves would go a long way to aid someone become a better person. And then that makes Africa a better space for us to exist in. So find purpose and don't abuse the space. Find purpose and don't abuse the space. And let's make an Africa, let's make Africa a better place for us all. Ah, my God, that has been a wonderful episode. So do you have any upcoming programs you're working on? Do you have any? I do have um three events coming up. Um, right. one in Kumasi. So if you find yourself in Kumasi and you want to join us, we are talking about um self-confidence, mm-hmm. we're talking about self-discovery, we are talking about digital marketing after discovery, and uh, dependent on your what business you find yourself doing, we are doing business development as well. So I'll be in Kumasi, I'll be in Takrade, and then we have the last one here in Accra. It's called the Brand You Right Conversations. There's a master class, and so you come in prepared, food is served, um, ideas present there's a, a group you may want to be part of so you can search on, on facebook as the brand you write community you can join the group you can request to join the group and then you have all the information about the upcoming masterclass in there remember it's good to network and so every opportunity you get try and network with somebody it's good I to network the conference, the conference for self-discovery in october on the right. 7th of October, it's a, it's a virtual conference. And so you can check on my website, which is www.nanalexis.com, or you can check on projectuconference.com. And then you can find all the information about the conference. The Project U basically focuses on who you are. And so there are 13 African-renowned speakers that are going to be present to speak at who you should become and where you've started your journey from. Um, it's, it's a great conversation for tertiary institutions, for senior high schools, wherever you find yourself, even for that person who is in the career space but is stuck and confused about what next to do. For that person who wants to get married or whatever it is, the conversation goes on and on, and you get to network with other people in the virtual space. Right, you need to network both physical and on the virtual space. So on behalf of the team here, yeah, African Season Speakers Network, we want to say a very big thank you to Okosia Nana Lexix Obenewa Pokuajiman for gracing this wonderful, ah, I mean, this wonderful episode and taking us to a different level. And you know, as we always say, it has been a wonderful episode. A lot has been shared. It's now up to us to go discover who really we are to make that impact that we need to make in our generation and the legacy that we want to leave behind and want to be known for. So thank you all for making time to be with us here. We're going to meet same time next week on the same platform. And as I always say, dreams are always in levels. Remember that you get, you get to the top level of your dreams. So we meet same time next week. I want to say thank you for joining us. My name is Ambassador Benjamin Oswansa. 
and we'll see you here same time next week thank you so much for joining us and thank you our special guest for today thank, thank you, you so for much having me. respect you.